number one, the prop room. The handsome Emmett, that's me, <laughs> tells the kids about a script writer. The person who chooses the words an actor says in a play. And then there is a dancing rainbow. It's time for show and tell. Everybody, today we are here with Miss Amy and we are going to write a scene together. Let's yes, do it, yes. let's do it. Okay, I need a name. A name, um, a name. Uh, Gertrude? Gertrude. Gertrude. Oh, I love that name. Yeah. Okay, and I need a part of the face. Ears. 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 Ears yeah. are good. A prop. Do you remember what a prop is? That's something you use in a show, right? Yeah, like a, like a telephone. Telephone. That's a great yeah. one. Good job. Any color. What's your favorite color, right away? A pink. Pink. Oh, okay. yeah. Of course it is. And do you know what an occupation is? Like uh, a job? A job. A job. What's a job, Emmett? Yeah, uh, have a job? I don't have a job, but Dad has a job. He's a repairman. Yeah. A repairman. Repair man. Okay. Now I need a number. I like the number three. Three's a great Three's number. A number. Yeah, it's my favorite. Emmett, what's your favorite color? Brown. The next color is brown. And now I need another part of the body. The foot. The foot. Yeah. Okay. Can you give me another name? Beauregard. And a place. The moon. The moon. The moon. Oh, that's a great place. All right, now we can put all of this together and then we can find out what our story is. <gasps> the name of our story is Getting Ready for the Show. Ooh. It's almost time for the show. Gertrude is very excited, but first she has to get ready. She started by putting makeup on her ears. <laughs> her ears. <laughs> <laughs> then she put a telephone on her head. <laughs> this girl's crazy. <laughs> and went to get her costume. It was pink. Her character was a repairman. Three minutes until curtain, said the stage manager. Yeah. He told everyone waiting in the brown room to break a foot. <laughs> she walked on stage for the opening night of Beauregard on the Moon. <laughs> That's a funny scene. I don't know if we're very good script writers yet. Yeah. We'll get better, though, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, we'll practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, legends of the theater. Theater people use strange words. But don't worry, because we're here to explain them to you. Today, we're learning about a blackout. That's when all the lights on the stage go off between a scene, like this. What is happening? It's a blackout, Emmett. I can't see anything. The lights are off. It's so dark. It's a blackout. What is that? Emmett, I just said it's when the lights go out between scenes. I wasn't listening. Ah. Presenting our show. Of the week. Don't make me hit you in America. Uh, who? Hi, everybody. It's time for our show of the week. Yeah. Today's show is called... Hamilton! We want to tell you about it, but we're not going to. We're going to rap about it. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and let me speak and I'll tell you about my show of the week. Written by a guy named Lynn about a man named Hamilton. When it opened on Broadway, it won lots of Tony. Yay! What is the show about? I was just about to get to that part. Founding fathers learned to rap, put our country on the map. He was fighting for our freedom, told the British, we don't need them. Eliza Skyler was his wife, were his enemy all his life. Don't have time for all the plot. Spoiler alert, he gets shot. He what? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Bring it down, Eloise. <laughs> Wow, you, you, you totally killed it. Aww. And now it's time for our very special guest. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our very special guest, Miss Amy. Hi. Today we are learning about, uh, what are we learning about, Eloise? Script writers. Script writers. I have no idea what that is. What is a script writer? Well, actors and actresses use a script to know what lines to say on stage. Yes. And somebody has to come up with those lines. The actors don't just come up with them by themselves? 
Well, they can, but most of the time, if you're working with a lot of people, you have to have a script so that everybody knows what to expect on stage and that they can plan oh. ahead and they practice and they work hard. And that's why we rehearse all of yeah. these things. So if I say, good morning, mom, I'm home. Well, who else do we need in that scene? Mom. Mom, that's right. Yes. So then we know how many characters we have and... We know where we're going to have that um, scene take place because it's probably going to be at their house, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can have short scripts or really long scripts, and you can use scripts that somebody like Shakespeare wrote hundreds of years ago, or you can find a friend that might write a script for you today. I've got a lot of ideas. Me too. Yay. Wonderful. Thank you for being here on, on with the, the show. show.